name is Khan, and this is Khan 1272. Say, so I'm about to go out here and do this trial fit of the new rims onto my Audi S5 to see how they look, see if the uh, fitment is correct. So, come on, y'all. Oh, before I go out here, I'm bundled up like this because, yes, it is negative 34 degrees here in Michigan. Yes, I said it. A negative 34 degrees here in Michigan. So it's cold in my garage. So I'm going to go set the garage up, get a little heat going in there, you know, so I can be at least a little warm while I'm trying to do this trial fit. And uh, so come on, take a walk with me. All right, guys, I'm headed out here now. All right now, this right here is my wife's Audi TTS covered up. Right here is my Audi S5 covered up. And right here is my beast. This is my Jixxer 1000, fully custom, fully tuned. I'll be doing some uh, reviews on that too as well. Oh yeah, she's a beast. My Jixxer, oh, just wait till I do the re review on it. All right guys. Let me go ahead and uncover so I can do this. Put this on here. I'm only going to cover one side so I can do the trial fit. Oh, and I'm doing all my videos on this, this Android Active I have right now. I don't have a vlog camera yet, but I will be upgrading my um, video equipment. By the summertime, you know, I'm just just trying this out, see how it works. But so far, like everybody said, you know, everybody got to start somewhere. So I'm starting with my Android phone. You know, I got to get the camera ang camera angles right. You know, sorry, it's cold out here. But I can't turn the camera around, so I just show you. Everybody know what the Audi S5s look. You know, as you can see, you got the V8 on there. And I purchased this one due to the fact that it did have the V8. I know some of you are like, oh, he got the old 2012. Well, yeah, the 2013. I'm just not a V6 type of a guy. I don't hate on V8. The sound of them because they don't make the sound that a V8 make. You know, I, I would take a V6. Hell, my wife's Audi TT. It's a four banger. It sounds good. You know, I'm not dissing V6s. It's just in my opinion, for my preference, I wanted the V8. You know, so yeah, it's nice. Nice to me. I like it. One of my favorite cars clean so i'm about to do this rim fitment so i'm gonna hit pause and i come back once i get set up because it's cold i gotta grab these cold ass tools oops sorry for uh the cussing i'm gonna try to edit and put a mute in that ass word i just said sorry about that but uh yeah so um i'm about to hit pause and get right into it okay guys just an update i finally got the rear tire off had to take some time out here man it's cold then out here bro but hey i'm trying to do some videos in the winter time all right so the next video is gonna be a picture with the rim on the car all right i'm out okay guys i'm back i had to take a little break because my um rear wheel i got stuck but i've been sitting and i didn't want to hit on it with a hammer so i didn't go get a rubber mallet real quick and uh knock it off real quick so all right here is the stock Audi S5 rim. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to flip the phone around. Like I said, first time vlogging. It's going to be some mistakes. But um, here we go. This is the... Let's see if I get it. Yep, that's the stock Audi wheel right there. I think I got my phone upside down. I'm not sure. Nope, I got it right. This is the stock Audi wheel. Stock Audi wheel. Right, let's go down here. All right, this right here is the wheel I just purchased. Now, let me turn this camera around. All right, guys, here we go. I am done. It's cold out here, but here is a view of the stock Audi wheel. These are eight and a half. I'm sorry, these are 19 by eight and a half with a 32 offset. And these stock ones. I know I said earlier, in my other video, but I gotta correct myself. These are 20 by 10 and a half 
the ET on them, I was saying 35, but the ET is actually a 25. I know I placed the order for a 35, but actually I'm glad I, I was wrong for the um 35. The, the 25 offset actually sit better. It sits right, like even. Let me show you guys if I get it from the side. Y'all see that? Look like it's stuck. Not like it's stuck out about a millimeter or so, but that right there, that's gonna be a nice look. Yeah, for the rims. All right, put it on the Audi to see what it look like. I'm digging that look, guys. What y'all think? Obviously, I don't have no meat on it. That's why I got that um, two by four on the ground, so I won't just put my rim to the concrete. So, like I said, this is just a trial fit. I just received them the other day, so you want to make sure that everything fit correctly before you just sit on them because like i said i buy my product i let it sit over the um, winter and then like right before on uh, spring on spring i start putting everything on to bring my rise out so this right here fits pretty good what y'all think i like them yeah yep audi s5 v8 all right guys i'm out the stock tire back on i already made a recording of the aftermarket wheel on here the ace wheel and i got a close-up on it on how much of the lip is sticking out like it's kind of like 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 right there almost like dead even now i'm going to show you the difference on how much further inside the wheel well the stock tire is compared to the aftermarket one so take a look at this i got the rear tire back on sorry about the light guys go right here. now look how much the factory tire is in compared to how far out the aftermarket lip was. Right now the stock tire is inside the wheel well. The aftermarket tire actually sit like, I'm talking like dead even with the upper lip. It might be out maybe like a millimeter or so, but from the side it looked like it was just, just dead even. But that's the difference and that's the look I'm going for. All right guys, it's cold out here. I'm about to put everything back up. Cover my baby back up. Then head back in. Like I said, it's negative 34 degrees here in Michigan. But can't do nothing outside. So I just thought I'd make this quick little content just to uh, start my little YouTube page up. All right. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button, you know, so I can help build, build up my little channel. You know. All right. Bye. Peace.